So what in the world led up to this? Let's check it out and react to it live. What's up everybody, Carlton Flowers here with the Go Political Channel and finally after I have much needed break. We're going to dive back into the action in Dalton. Actually, this would be at the Thornton Township Town Hall meeting, which took place last night. And if you did not watch this as it unfolded, I'm going to tell you what, this was one of the most epic meetings ever. So for the first hour, hour and a half that I watched, I could, I was about to turn it off because I could not hardly stand the sound of the mayor's voice listening to the same phrases, the same statements as it relates to, let me educate y'all, uh, you know, all the same garbage that she repeats over and over and over again. But I was glad that I hung in there and watched. I was actually reacting with uh, Hannibal. Shout out to Hannibal is hungry. And also shout out to Chicago Reality Check TV channel for providing the footage here that I'm going to show you here in a minute. When we look at the clip, which marks the point that everything completely melted down. Now, I might do another video on the rest of the meeting because there was a lot of good spots in there, but we're just going to focus on a speech put on by the Honorable Paul Roberts, <laughs> which was one of the best speeches that I have ever heard in my life. Now, it was a troll speech, but it was so creative and it was so funny to me. I, I about dislodged a rib. I was laughing so hard. I mean, I got to hand it to you, Brother Paul. This was amazing. I don't know how you came up with the analogy that you did, but it was incredible. And of course, some people took offense to it. There was some folks saying that it was very offensive, insulting, maybe racist. What? But Paul, you did a good job. It was dead on, and he didn't do anything but tell the truth, <laughs> as Tiffany likes to put it. So let's cut over to the footage from Reality Check TV Chicago. <clears throat> let's just watch the, uh, the speech by Paul Roberts. And Paul, I hope you're watching this because I'd like to have you come on as a guest so we can talk about <laughs> this classic speech and the incredible work that you are doing in the epicenter of mayhem and chaos, which would be the South Chicago suburban area. So let's jump on back here. Let's see. There we go. Here we are in the meeting. And uh, let's listen in and see what uh, Brother Paul had to say that caused a complete meltdown that ended the meeting. They weren't able to recover after this. He burnt the building down. He, he took the roof off the mother sucker, okay? He burnt the building down. So here we go. Here comes Paul with his epic speech. Let's listen to Paul. Paul Robert. Here's Paul. Good evening, neighbors, trustees, and especially supervisors. As soon as he said, good evening, neighbors, I knew he was going to troll. I, I I just knew it. I was like, uh-oh, he's going to do something crazy. Good evening, neighbors, trustees, and especially supervisor. I've paid attention to our supervisor for a year now. Listen to the moans and groans. Much attention to the people she is supposed to serve. From all the Tiffany Instead, supporters that are still there. She is about loving on the people while calling all those who criticize her haters wearing devil's horns. <laughs> she stubbornly believes that she is still in control of the board meetings both here and in Dalton. She continues to campaign at our expense for another item in both governments when her constituents' biggest question is how come she is still in office. That is we a good question, Paul. to endure before a new supervisor is inaugurated. 
So I asked the supervisor, using the words of Trustee Jones, is it too late for you to do the right thing for the people? She'll never do the right the thing. The purpose of my comment this evening is to ask the supervisor to work with the trustees reasonably. Reason is the ability God gave humans to make us superior to the rest of the animals. Whales and whales have a much better sense of hearing than a human. But it's ridiculous trying to ask an elephant or a whale about the best way to distribute nine million tax dollars between 155,000 people. As soon as he made the analogy about the elephants and whales, I knew this is about to completely go unhinged because it's going to go off the chain. And I'm like, uh oh, while I was watching it, I was saying, uh oh, Paul went there and he's about to go there even deeper. So let's continue on. <clears throat> A dog has much better sense of smell than a human, but if it poops inside your house, you don't expect the dog to apologize to you, nor do you expect the dog to respond to constructive criticism. By definition, an animal does not respond to reason. The only way that humans can interact with them are to feed the animal, pet the animal, or give it a whack in the snout. <laughs> Give it a whack in the snout. Township can no longer afford the feeding and petting of the supervisor. Supervisor have an alternative to give a whack in the snout. Oh my god! He said, "Give the supervisor a whack in the snout." Now look at him. He's getting rushed. Security's coming. <laughs> Get him. Oh my god. Now it's so shocking that there's so many Tiffany Hendren supporters that were offended and completely lost their cool. Oh my god. Wow. Holy smokes. I would have paid anything to see the look on Tiffany Henyard's face when he said, whack her on the snout. Oh my God. Okay, if y'all don't hit that like button, I'm gonna shut this live off. I'm gonna shut this live off and I'm gonna go home. Oh, then we got Reality Check TV threatening to shut down the live stream. This should have gotten a million likes. I don't blame him. He was ready to shut it down. Look at the <laughs> look at the security guard. Oh my god. <laughs> he won't be chasing down anybody in the streets anytime soon. that screaming yelling hollering complete and absolute utter mayhem and this is a township meeting it's supposed to be professional oh my god people are just walking out at this point 500 likes on seven dollars oh god we'll get this exclusive i'll put the video to the floor oh man Holy smokes. Oh my gosh. Okay, so by that point, it only went further south. It didn't get any better. It did not get any better. But this is the best that it got right there. The shouting and the screaming continued. There's cursing and foul language that comes up after this point. And so it, it just devolved into complete and utter madness. Total mayhem. <clears throat> It was already a tumultuous, tumultuous enough. Uh, it was tumultuous enough of a meeting as it was, not for this to happen at the end to make it any worse. But I thought Paul did an outstanding job. I thought it was great. Uh, shout out to Paul again for the epic speech, making an association between animals and the human beings in the, in the Thornton Township and the leadership. And he, he did make a good point. Uh, dogs 
They poop on the floor. They get a whack in the snout. How many years has it been? What, four years of Tiffany Henyard pooping on their floor? But she doesn't get a whack in the snout. <laughs> Elephants can hear and listen better than what these people are doing in this meeting. So what the heck is the deal? Is it in the water? I mean, honestly, I think it might be in the cake. It's the strawberry cake. That must be the new crack. There's something she's got to be putting in that strawberry cake during Big Bingo Night for these people to stay under her control and to clap, applaud, stand up for her and attack poor elderly Brother Paul after he made such a great point. So shout out to Paul. I need to have you on the show sometime very soon. We're going to talk more about this meeting and break down some of the crazy things that happened and then I've got an epic video coming your way. I'm still working on it where I'm going to talk about the big picture. And we're going to discuss the things that I'm going to share you insight. I'm going to educate y'all <laughs> about why this FBI investigation is tanking so long. I'm going to give you a little bit of the history of the FBI. Talk about how they operate. And then we're going to discuss the situation of corruption that is so deeply ensconced in a certain political party in the Chicago area and all throughout the state of Illinois. So that is coming up. One last thing. Can you imagine this happening in your town? Have you ever been to your own uh, monthly town hall meetings? I've been to some. I've been to several here in Jefferson City, Missouri, the capital city of Jefferson City. And I tell you what, I have never once, not, not even once at one of the most controversial meetings, would you ever see behavior like this from adults at a town hall meeting? Holy cow. I guess, uh, hey, if, if this is what they enjoy doing and if this is the norm, who can blame them? If they want the strawberry cake and the big bingo, who can blame them? Well, anyway, that's about all I got for this one. I just wanted to uh, pay respect to Brother Paul for such a great speech. Please like, uh, comment, and subscribe to the Go Political channel. And I'm going to be hitting you back very soon with that breakdown on the FBI investigation. This is Carlton, and I am out.